Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think this is one uh, of uh, the few times when I agree with Zelensky. And uh, I think the situation is uh, very bad if he comes out and he makes these kind of statements. And the statements are not positive uh, statements, are, uh, I would say, are positive because I think he doesn't actually say how bad they are. So uh, in a context, instead of saying it's already dead, they say, well, it's in a coma kind of like uh, thing. So let's see what's going on here. I understand this comes from Russia today, but they will uh, quote Zelensky. So I will use his quote and uh, go from there. And I don't think uh, the translation could be that bad uh, in order to, you know, change our uh, uh, opinion or, you know, uh, form our opinion. Counteroffensive is not going well, Zelensky said. This is on June 21st, 2023, today. Progress has been, and I'm quoting, slower than desired, the Ukrainian president told the BBC. Well, they also said that uh, the final punch is not ready and they're not done, which probably is not, but they lost the first uh, surprise. The, the aspect of a surprise attack helps about 40% of the whole thing. It depends, obviously, on many uh, variables, but that's the, the thing. It's surprise and it was surprise and it didn't do anything. So from now on, uh, that's gone. They know where your forces are. I don't know. We'll see. Ukrainian Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky has admitted that a long-promised counteroffensive against Russian forces has not delivered the results that some Western observers expected. Remember, this is the interpretation of Ukrainska Pravda, but we have here quotes uh, right here, okay? So bear with me. Um, amid mounting losses, Zelensky insisted that he would not discuss peace with Moscow. Well, he didn't receive the green light yet. And I'm quoting Zelensky here. Some people believe this is a Hollywood movie and expects results now. I agree with you, but you are part of the movie. You are part of the creation of this movie too, with your BS statements. Uh, you are part of this. In flaming, we're winning, we're doing this. And, um, yeah, okay, let's see, we're on the map. Bring the map. And he says, it's not. Of course, it's not a Hollywood movie, but you are part of this uh, movie as well of the script, at least, at the big actor that you are. He told the BBC on Wednesday, admitting that advances by Ukrainian troops have been, and I'm quoting, slower than desired. Not designed, desired. And I'm quoting again Zelensky. Whether some might want, including attempts to pressure us, with all due respect, we will advance on the battlefield the way we deem best. Again, okay, of course, it's your war. You fight Russia alone. Uh, Hollywood movie again, script. Yeah, you're fighting Russia alone. So don't tell us what to do. Um, let me give you this little representation. Let me pick my nose a little bit. Um, Ukraine and this guy, without the help from... Uh, the other 30 countries behind all this, he will be uh, Putin. Hello. Sorry. You're, you're busy. Have a minute. Uh, let's talk. That's how the weasel would be. But if those guys allow him. So if he says, I don't want to make peace with the Russians, I think the guys around him is going to they're going to convince him. Yeah, the ones with the masks over their face, they will say, Hey, that's not part of the script, baby doll. Say what? Say what? Yeah, we got to do this. Zelensky, you got to go. Where? <laughs> this way. I think that's the script. But he knows why. Z Zelensky knows. Zelensky, even if tomorrow he, let's say, receives the order or one order, go and talk to Putin. He's going to do that. Maybe he's going to be tough a little bit and all that. Okay, for the show. And he's going to talk to Putin. He's going to be in charge. Zelensky is going to be probably forever, forever, probably forever known in the uh, Ukraine uh, an an annals as being the greatest uh, Ukrainian uh, leader that Ukraine ever saw. I mean, leave everybody else to the side. He is the one. You know, monuments and all that. He's going to live happily ever after somewhere in 
Tahiti or I don't know, Jerusalem or London or somewhere in Florida. That's his future. If he chooses the other one and say no, come this way. Uh, he's not going to say no. I mean, he's an actor overall. So, um, and pressure. Ah, this is just for show. So it shows that you are, you know, what you are. Ukraine's counteroffensive began in June 4th. Okay, we know this. Whatever they say here, that supposedly, according to the Russians, uh, the Ukrainians lost 7,500 men and 30% of the, its Western supply tanks and armored vehicles. You know, daily reports from Moscow have since added at least another 2,000 men to the casualty count, which Ukraine said have lost over 1,000, so Ukraine said, lost 1,000 soldiers and 20 tanks in a single day of fighting over the weekend. Yeah, our men are dying and they are counting the money. Who knows what I'm saying? Know exactly what I mean. That happened in the First World War and the Second World War again. <laughs> our, uh, our men were dying. Uh, the best generation, right? I mean, I don't want to insult anybody, but uh, it seems like our society, the Western society, the Russian civilization, overall, or it's this big attempt to be uh, pussified, if you know what I mean. Uh, therefore, and very inclusive and diverse, and as we know, equitable, and as you will know, diversity is our strength, so we are very strong. Why? Because we identify as strong. And that's reality. <laughs> oh, well, as I said, I agree with him. I think it's not going well. And uh, the counteroffensive, I think, is dead in the water, face down, going downstream, blah, 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 and already bloated. Um, I don't see anything happening uh, extraordinary over there, unless the Russians are breaking the front up north, which is in Liman area and Kupiansk. They try to go around, and we'll see if that's going to be successful. And as I said, unfortunately, Ukrainians and uh, Russians are dying and others uh, for what? For, uh, you know, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.